What's up guys, this is Michael Starbulb here, and today we're going to be looking at some band toys that you probably owned as a kid. Now, I for one probably didn't own most of these toys as a kid, but I'm probably sure you guys did. Let me know in the comments if you guys did, and let's get on to today's video. Now, the first one of these we're going to be talking about is the Aqua Dots. How can this toy be dangerous to children? This seems like a safe idea. Now we all know that can be a choking hazard, right? Because anything can be a choking hazard if you think about it. But that spray, that liquid in the spray that is used to glue them together, that's actually known as GHB. Which, I can't really explain that much because I might get like, community guideline strike or possibly demonetization if I do get monetized in the future. But, that's known as GHB, which is what we use or what adults use to, let's just say it's going to be used to put their partner to sleep and just do whatever they want with them. That's all I'm going to say because I'm afraid if I give it more detail, I'm going to get demonetized or possibly face a community guideline strike. So now you know. Alright, we're going to start this list with Aqua Dots. Not sure if you guys remember these. And you may be looking at them like, how dangerous could those really be? Maybe a choking hazard at most, but that's only... Alright, so the next toy we're going to be talking about is the Easy Bake Oven. Now, if you guys have an Easy Bake Oven or have one before, be sure to let me know by giving this video a like. And we're going to be talking about the Easy Bake Oven and why it's not very safe at all. This toy was considered dangerous because people were reporting getting third degree burns while playing this toy because it would actually go about the same temperature as a real oven. And people were getting their hands stuck in it, and they were getting the burns because they couldn't get their hands out to prevent the burns. I have seen these at Walmart recently, so this tells me that they have made them safer, so no more burns for anybody. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure nobody wants to get third degree burns by playing a, on a toy that can really go as high as an actual oven. <laughs> so thank God that they made it safer for children, so now people can use them. Alright, so the last toy we're going to be talking about is the CSI Forensics Kit. Now, if you're an adult, you've probably heard of CSI, Crime Scene Investigation. There's quite a few series out there based on CSI. There's CSI Miami, CSI NY. It's kind of popular. It's like this procedural drama, which is aimed towards older people. And they're making a kit for children, yes. A kit for children, even though that the show that the kit's based on is actually for adults. And we're going to be digging into it right now. Now, those toys we call because they contain an amount of aspetos, which can be very deadly, especially if you're giving it to a child. Yes, we're giving this to a child. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this toy got recalled because it was kind of unsafe. You're going to be giving a toy to a child that's based on a show that's not for children. Yeah, that's kind of bad marketing and totally unsafe. It was recalled for a reason. But anyway guys, I think that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want me to do more of these band toys, be sure to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Michael Starwell. Content you will enjoy!